our role as radio presenters is not only to entertain, but you know, try as much as you can to inspire and inform. When there were the tornadoes in the States some time back, radio was a very powerful medium to get people together, rallying them, letting them know where to go, what not to do. On the negative, we all know what happened in Rwanda. We saw the story, the world reacted a couple of deaths too late, you know, and we saw what could happen in such a scenario. Media as a whole plays a large part to a young guy's life because that's the only way you feel you're with it. That's where you get your barometer to know if you're it yet or not, you see. So if it is to do a certain thing, if you don't have your own set of principles, you'll try as much as possible to get to it. And that's what's happening right now, man. And so I'm a bit disappointed um, that radio stations, instead of using the opportunity to grow something, and, and there's a lot to learn from our cultures. Um, there's a lot to talk about uh, from, our, from our communities, but they don't go out for those. And I think sex is a, something for quick gratification. And so they want to gratify the, the, their listeners quickly and without engaging them too much. In the Jav, it's my knock again in the morning. Big show. The ratings on that thing is just through the roof. Every guy in radio knows mine right now, revenue-wise. He runs this down. Let's, let's, let's just admit, call a spade a spade. But when you look at the content, at the beginning, probably, I'd like to say maybe to him it was a marketing tool to just try and be a shock jock and get guys to like, what the hell did he talk about? Sex with what? Let me listen tomorrow, you see? And that's how it started, you see? And from there it got a life of its own and now, maybe, I'd like to give him the benefit of the doubt, but he's now a prison in this conversation that he knows if he changes and talks about, you know, good stuff, guys might be like, ah, uh, ya leo haikushika. Sex is not necessarily a bad thing, but controlled and used appropriately, it can lead to useful things. Um, but an obsession with it, as we have done, is really going to blur our vision. We just get engaged and the whole day we are just talking about sex, 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 the whole day. So that's the danger I think we are having with this media station just focusing on it. When you watch the videos, you want to know the latest dance move in Jamaica, they are daggering. Fine. Next time you're in Westy on Thursday after Campo or Diurgu, changes, bend over Thursday, let's get it on. You know, all of us have friends who them they believe maze. If you're a guy, how do you have one chick? What guy are you? It's even the chick knows that you're bound to dog, you know. And that's the message that's put out there. And I mean, why would you be surprised if A's is through the roof? You're being bombarded by so much garbage, you know. And you know, it comes in, it goes out. It's just, I mean, that's the only way you'll survive. If it all stays inside, it's mad. And I mean, it's, it's, it's really sad if you could have taken such a medium and used it for that. Because there's so much good that can come out of it. But then again, I think with anything that has such a powerful potential, the ability to do good or bad is just crazy with it. I just, that's my two cents on that one. <laughs>